Picking a major can be a major pain. That really wasn't a good joke, was it? Welcome back to another edition of Is This Going to Be on the Test? My name is Joe Burns and I am a professor, person at the front of the class. I need 10 minutes of your time, 10 minutes of your time, and uh, do me a favor, like, subscribe, ask questions below. This podcast comes from a question that was given to me uh, asking, what about a major? And it was really that broad. Uh, what does a major do for you? What about a major? Uh, I'm simply going to tell you my thoughts. I also put this up on Facebook and I asked my PhD friends what they thought about a major. And the answer pretty much came through the same way I would have answered it anyway. Your major, whatever you choose in college, may not have as huge an effect on your life as you think it will. If you look at the research, and by the way, the numbers change time to time, so go do the Google search yourself. If you look at it, more and more and more, less and less and less people are working in the area from which they chose their major. Now, you may look at it and go, oh, that's absolutely terrible. You have to pick a major you can do things in. Well, uh, hmm. Let me tell you something from the professor's side that you probably, if you're a parent, you probably won't like. At university, now I'm not talking, I'm not talking a tech degree, I'm not talking welding or HVAC or culinary, what have you, machinist, I'm not talking about that. I mean at college or university where you must take required classes, it's a four to five year program. That college or university was never intended to find you a job. It isn't. As a college professor, ask any college professor, we are not, college, university, we are not expected to find you a job. What are we expected to do? Our job is to educate you and make you a well-rounded human being. And that really matters, especially in today's economy. If you do the research, as I said before, less and less and less people are actually working in the area that they chose as a major. And you say, well, it's because they choose dumb majors like gender studies and art history and all that. It's not really that at all because our job was never to find you a job. We were to educate you to be a well-rounded, thinking human being. And I'll tell you why that matters. If you go into, say, HVAC in a, uh, a tech school, you got to work in HVAC. That's what you have studied. That's what you're licensed in, and that's fine. Our degrees, however, a college university, are meant to make you a well-rounded person so you can work in multiple areas. You are used across the board. And I'll give you the big one that comes from my area. I've told you I'm a communication professor. Not communications, uh, communication. You don't communicate, you communicate. I am a communication professor. I ask you, please, go online, and do a straight Google search and simply ask, what is an employer looking for in a new hire? If communication skills aren't number one, they're within the top three, I'll make you a bet. The idea to write, the idea to be able to present, the idea to be able to create emails that don't say, hey, LMFAO, yo, and that kind of stuff. That's, that's what people don't want. They need you to be able to do the communication thing. And when I teach public speaking, I tell my, uh, my STEM people, my scientists, uh, I tell them, look, if you're the person that not only understands the science, 
but can also stand in front of a crowd and present it, you make yourself eminently hireable. So it's not just your major, and I know what a lot of students think, I am an accounting major, so foreign languages, pfft, who needs that? And uh, public speaking, pfft, who needs that? And science, pfft, who needs that? When in reality, having that well, I bumped the table there, having that well-rounded knowledge base makes you, as I said before, eminently hireable because the chance you're gonna be working in your major as time goes on is becoming slimmer and slimmer. Does that make sense? Avail yourself to all education because you don't know what is going to be the educational track that gets you the job. Furthermore, and this is going to upset parents probably, you should never, never pick a major simply because it has a tremendous amount of money at the other end of it. And I've heard people do this and they are not the happiest people in the world. I'm going to go into this because I know because of a Google search that these graduates make $60,000 and that's fine. You may make $60,000. But if you hate it and getting out of bed in the morning is this horrid thing because you have to go to your job and you really hate it, is the $60,000 worth it? Is the 70, 80, 90, $100,000 worth it if every day you just pray for the end of the work week? Pick a major you like. Pick a, I mean, you're gonna be in bed with this thing for probably three years, get your required classes out of the way, and then you're gonna to turn to your major. I will get into the idea of picking classes in another episode, but pick, I mean, you're going to bed with this thing. You might as well be happy with it. Choose something you want to study and understand at all points in time, I'm gonna choose gender studies. No. There really isn't a lot of jobs in gender studies. But if you are well-rounded, there are positions within corporations where knowledge of general studies will help you in HR, in public relations, in all. So you're studying. You may not just get to walk out of school and go, I'm in gender studies. I'm in art history. But that knowledge base, along with everything else you have learned, makes you a well-rounded, thinking human being that can be worked on, get it, or can go to work. I'll give you the story. When I was a young buck uh, going into college, my mother said to me, well, I'm paying for college, so I'm picking your major. Okay. She said I was a business major, so I went to my business classes. And I'm, I'm in hell. I had no idea what was going on. Macro, microeconomics, it was one of the two. And I mean, he's up there and he's just writing on the board and the other guys and gals in class are just taking notes like crazy. I'm kidding, they weren't taking notes. But really, everybody seemed to understand what was going on in the world but me. Because the major was picked thinking that it had money at the end of it. When I changed my major to communication, specifically broadcasting radio, my mother, I mean, blew a gasket. Oh, you can't make any money in that until I got a job. Then you'll hear no complaints. So, major. The chance of you working in your major is getting slimmer and slimmer and slimmer. As a matter of fact, if you look at it, those who are coming out are not staying in their jobs very long. Uh, I think the average now is three years and the more we look at it, the less and less it gets. So the major you choose should be a major you enjoy, a major you like. Because as I've said before, you're gonna be in bed with it for five years or three years if you decide, you know, take all of your requireds afterwards. But still, even though you've chosen a major, 
make point of really paying attention in all the other classes because it makes you a well-rounded and a hireable human. So that's my thought on majors. And I know that's going to upset a lot of parents. I'm not paying for an art history major. What are you going to do with it? I don't know. Sell cosmetics sell spark plugs, do other things like that. And the reason I say that is because you're educated. You're well-educated. Does that make sense? Pick a major you like. You're going to be with it. Don't let someone else pick your major. And for the love of goodness, don't pick a major because you think there's money at the end of it. And I say that because I know you do the Google searches and Forbes magazine comes up with all these, the number one majors for money. Well, you're gonna be in school for five years. At the end of five years, what if your major is no longer on the Forbes top for money lists? Then you're in trouble. Pick a major you like. Pick a major you're gonna be okay with it, but well round yourself to everything else. And that wraps it up. I'm Joe Burns. Thank you for listening. And remember, is this going to be on the test? Probably. <laughs>